Okay, so now, let's look at a social networking platform, Twitter. Twitter is basically what we call a, um, it's a microblogging platform because you, you, you know, it's, it's very short. You can send short 140 character messages, which they call tweets. And from your desktop computer or your mobile phone to your followers. So again, this does not, this is not being picked up by everybody, and yet it is. Because if you're on Twitter and you do a Twitter search on Twitter, all the information on Twitter will come up. So you don't have to be following somebody or have somebody following you to actually be able to search the platform. If you want to search for news of the day or whatever, all the major um, uh, radio stations are on there, all the major entertainment stations are on there, all the ma Obama's on there. You know, so you, you can really think about you know, what kind of information do you want to get. And again, um, people are looking at Twitter differently today from a marketing perspective. So those people that have marketing teams and marketing departments, again, it starts with what is your marketing strategy? Now, you can have actually several in a, in a company. If you're, if you're a larger company, you could have your corporate CEO have, have an account. And I would recommend, by the way, if you're a business, take your Twitter name immediately after this, you know, just to have it because somebody else could easily take it. So take your name and, and it's free. So let's say you have your corporate CEO is, is talking. Um, let's say you have your company as, as a, uh, you know, a, 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 blog, a, a poster, and then you have maybe a, a couple of other people in your organization. You should have a strategy, and what you should do is say, okay, from the corporate, and again, I, again I'm, I'm throwing out a strategy that, that kind of we use. From the corporate level, we keep our clients up to date on, I'm going to be speaking somewhere. Uh, the company just uh, launched a particular website, or the company did this, or the company. So it's company information. It's things that affect the company, and it's a company, uh, a very corporate, you know, vision that we have out there. Then we have different people in the organization, like myself. I basically cover topics like social media, uh, networking events for, for women particularly or, or other things. And so I have a whole list of topics or, or categories that I cover. The president of our organization is the head case guru. You know, he, he does a whole other thing. Now, here's how Twitter works well with your content. Let's say you do a blog or a newsletter and you have great content. You only have 140 characters, which means it's microblogging, very, very short. So there are also programs out there that cut those URLs down. They call those tiny, well, one company is called tiny URL. But, but the Twitter will do that itself. So if you, let's say, have an article that you want to reference, you just basically copy the URL, and then you write your blog. So here's where the key comes in. It, it, you have to have great um, writing skills because you want to write really good headlines, the old-fashioned great headlines that grab you from, like, the Wall Street Journal. You want to write a really good headline to introduce whatever you're going to lead people to because that's where your intelligence comes out on top of it. So, for example, when, um, when uh, uh, MySpace laid off 30% of their you know, uh, of their people just recently. That was all over Twitter. But what I'm interested in is when I see Matt Cutts write about it, I want to know what's his take on it. Even in 140 characters, you can see whether he thinks it's a good thing or not a good thing. So, you know, basically what, I, what I'm saying is that the information that you, you become a leader because of the content, but you're pointing people to that content. So let's say you read a lot about your industry news and they're on Twitter. So you may want to follow some of those people because you want to know what's new. What are they saying? What's the buzz about? But then you can become part of the player in that arena because you can either comment on that, uh, you can comment on that, and I'll, you know, it's basically called a retweet to followers. And so you can take their information and retweet it with your spin on it, saying that was a great article, you got to read it. So your following base will read it. But it's a way to sort of, you know, sift through that information on a regular basis so that um, you're helping people sift through the, the, the volume of information because you're a trusted resource. It, it's a private, yeah, it's a, no, it's a private corporation, and it was some guys who started it, and it's been around, you know, just like Google was not always Google, Google was around probably for four or five years before, and the, the thing that, that, that saved Google, so to speak, was the, the paid ads. 
They were making no money. No search engine was making any money before they had this pay-per-click. It was called actually Look Smart before an overture. Those were the engines that were way back in the, in the day. But then Google started the very, very successful um, you know, pay-per-click program, and that's where they make their billions and billions of dollars. Nothing else that they do makes any money. Now, twi tw uh, excuse me? Oh, yeah, they, they, they do. I mean, they make other money, but I'm just saying that that's, their, their monetization model is mostly the, the AdWords accounts. Um, now, Twitter's been around about four or five years, and, you know, two, two, three guys started it, I believe, and then it just got, you know, some people just started to use it because they felt, felt that it was great live search engine. And you probably could go online and find out the history of the guys and so forth, but, you know, right now they're not selling to anybody, and it seems that Google's coming out with a live search engine since it's so, you know, basically really, really robust and popular right now. So, you know, it's...